Review Tech USA is a freaking liar. He made a goodbye video the other day titled, I guess this is a goodbye video, on his main channel, Review Tech USA. And we all know he's been wanting to step away from daily gaming news and trending topics. And he wants to focus on live streaming, which that's his prerogative. It's his platform. He can decide what he wants to do with his time. What makes him happy? I'm all for it. Well, that's one thing, but less than 24 hours after he made this goodbye video, he literally posted a video about Kethels. And I'm not standing up for Kethels. I'm not defending Kethels at all. I think they are a garbage human being as well. But what's funny about this is that Rich took all this time to come on and make a video about how he's done, how he's moving on, how he's not going to be focusing on the Review Tech USA channel. And then not even a day after, he's posting a video. And yeah, okay, big deal. He could post whatever he wants, whenever he wants. But this is a sponsored video. Now, I'm not against sponsorships. I've had my own brand deals and sponsorships in the past. But when you make a goodbye video and less than 24 hours, you're doing a drama video because you know it's going to get clicks and you sponsor it because you know you're going to make money off of it. That just comes across as a little bit of a slime ball type of thing. On paper, again, he could do whatever he wants. I agree with his statements towards Keffels. I think they are insufferable and a garbage human being. But he's pissing off a lot of people with this. If you look in his comment sections, he's getting completely buried as a result of this. And this is already from people already <laughs> tired of his nonsense. I think he's retired and unretired on YouTube more times than Terry Funk has in pro wrestling. And you can see on his goodbye video, you can see people are saying, bro's been saying goodbye since 2014 when I first started watching. He ain't going anywhere. L-M-A-O. And exactly, he's not going anywhere. He does this all the time. I think I think literally like within the last four to five years, we've had so many goodbye videos and so many goodbye announcements and that he's changing things up and that he's taking hiatuses. And it's like, all right, at this point, shit or get off the pot. If you watched a lot of Review Tech streams as of late, it literally is just him sitting there stoned out of his mind talking about things that he wants to do, stuff that he's planning on doing. And it's almost like it's fishing for sympathy. Like he's all like, oh, I know I had to move on. It's just not sustainable. I have to do this. And this is what I want to do. And I want to change it to this. Just fucking do it. It's all talk and no action. And I think that's why a lot of people are getting fed up with his ways to the point where it's like if you're just sitting there recording yourself watching DSP every live stream that you're having you're wasting your time you're wasting our time you're wasting everybody's time that supports your content don't talk about what you hope to do and what you wish to do do it now you could also see people are saying rich today goodbye rich tomorrow hello and that's exactly what he did with this video about keffels you know it's like it's becoming a running joke you can see goodbye forever chat i'll see you next week goodbye all see you tomorrow Rich Tomorrow, I guess I'm back. Let's get into it. Rich Tomorrow, Quantum TV and I are starting a podcast and we're married. Let's get into it. This guy makes more goodbye to the Internet Forever videos than Brett Keen and so forth. He's just absolutely getting trashed. Nobody was holding their breath thinking that he was officially done with Review Tech USA. And his video on Kevils has proven it. Again, less than 24 hours since the goodbye announcement. He's uploading this. And again, there's nothing wrong with making content, with using your platform. People are free to do and make the content that they want. But when you're making a goodbye video and announcing that you're moving on and then literally less than a day you're doing a sponsored video on that same exact channel, I don't know. It just doesn't sit well with me. And it doesn't sit well with a lot of other people as well. You can see on the actual video, Richard Today Goodbye, also Richard Today, let's get into it. I guess this is goodbye. Literally post a video 16 hours later. Rich Tomorrow, bro, he didn't even wait for tomorrow. Rich in the AM, this is goodbye. Rich in the PM, let's get into it. Rich is the physical embodiment of the meme where the dad from Rugrats is making putting at 4 a.m. because he's lost control of his life. And, you know, what's honestly going on about this is that people are assuming, hey, he had 
sponsorship obligations. And that was even an excuse made by Review Tech USA, where he said the video was already in the burner. It had to be posted. I can't leave a sponsor hanging. I wanted to wait to post my video from yesterday until after this was released, but I knew I was away for far too long without any explanation. So he's using the excuse of, that this is a sponsored deal and they have contract obligations, which, yeah, that's true. Sponsors want certain date deadlines, certain time and dates for you to post videos that are sponsored. But, you know, any normal person would think, hey, I'm going to make an announcement that I'm leaving. Maybe I should post this video first. Well, Review Tech is saying that he was far from his main channel for too long, that he posted the goodbye video first and then posted this one afterwards he did it in less than a day he posted both of these videos in less than a day so why wouldn't he just post this drama video with keffels first it wasn't like there was days or weeks between each one it was literally hours literally hours i don't even think it was six or seven hours between the goodbye video and the keffels video so why wouldn't he just post the keffels video first and then post the announcement video that he's going away. Now, okay, there was a tweet that I saw that I was like, okay, this this kind of busted him. This wasn't on the burner for a while. But to me, here's the smoking gun. There's an individual on Twitter that posted in response to this excuse that he had this video on the burner for a while. They said, hey, at the real RTU, when some presses you, you should probably learn not to lie because you aren't that good at lying. The video wasn't in the burner. You literally did it right before you went on stream. And you could see that they circled the time and date right behind Review Tech USA, which is featured prominently on his new set screen. So is he being truthful here? Probably a little bit of half and half. Maybe he could have, you know, if I'm going to give him the honest, honest benefit of the doubt, maybe he recorded the intro for this brand deal last minute when he knew he was about to upload it. But in hindsight, let's talk about Rich. Let's talk about how he's shown to be a little bit lazy at times. He's shown to be a little bit more of a procrastinator. He's always talking about things that he should and shouldn't be doing. But he doesn't help himself. He can't help himself. So even though I do give a small benefit of doubt, I think he's lying that this video was on the burner. And even if it wasn't or if it was, it was only hours apart between this and the goodbye video. So why didn't he just post the Keffels video first? Yeah, okay, Eric, it's not your channel. It's not your business. Why don't you mind your business instead of narration, making some kind of fabricated narration against Review Tech to make him look bad and take the food out of his mouth? No, look, he's doing it to himself. Even if I didn't make this video, his comment sections are already almost nearly 100% against him. Not just on Review Tech USA, but also on RTU streams. This guy is quickly losing his audience, even though he claims to be better than people like DSP or the Law Call Live podcast. You know, it's almost kind of ironic and sad to watch. This is literally a train wreck that I can't stop looking at. So I just wanted to give my thoughts. Yeah, Review Tech USA, this is kind of a bad look to be putting a sponsored video related to some kind of drama that you're trying to capitalize on after you made a goodbye announcement. You couldn't just flip-flop the release and have the Keffels video come out first, and then you're doubling down, possibly lying that it was on the burner. I don't know, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'll see you on the next one.